Hi, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the how exactly you can add your payment option to your Amazon SSH account. So this is pretty easy and I'll show you each and everything that how can you do this. So before starting with this video, make sure to subscribe my channel and also like the video and also share this video with your friends. So they just get some information or some amazing tutorial that will help them out. So Adding the payment option to your uh, Amazon associate account is need a very useful guideline because you have if you uh, don't use or if you don't follow any kind of proper guideline this this could be uh, end up with a mess. So I'll show you each and everything that how can you do this. I have uh, gathered to my bank account into my uh, notepad here. So as you can see here, I have a notepad. I have just blurred. This is my personal information, and you know that what I'm talking about. So. Uh, here is the you can see my uh, it's a some a few earnings here. So as you can see here is a the last week of my earning is a forty six dollars and with a nine item shape, which is pretty uh, nice. I think uh, this is a new website I have built a few days ago, and this is a, this is also a new account. So those are getting much better and better day by day. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here, I am I have a. Uh, important notice something like a, a notification popping up in my account here so i what i'm going to do i'm just going to click here to they're just asking about the adding uh, my payment information and they also notice that if i have already add any payment information then i can ignore this message so i'm just going to add payment information here so i'm just going to click in the payment information and see what's happened here so as you can see here, it brings me a new page here. So it's actually uh, showing me uh, here is the two information here. As uh, so one is account information and another one is payment and tax information. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click here to change the payment method in this uh, pretty nice link here. So I'm just clicking up here and it will brings up a new page which is allow me to add a payment option in my Amazon asset account. So now this is the payment page here. So you can add your payment option here. There is a three way that Amazon is currently paying you. One is pay me by direct deposit. And the second number is pay me by amazon.com gift card. You can also receive your amazon.com gift card and then you can redeem it to Amazon and then you can purchase any kind of product you want and the third thing is that pay me by check this option is uh, basically uh, for the people who are using who are at the usa and they can also uh, use this option also so this particularly this is basically uh, their option but we are not going to mess around with this but i'm just going to show you that how can you add your uh, bank account here so here i'm just clicking here to pay me the direct deposit and this is asking you the bank location here so i'm just going to um, select the bank location here since my bank are from usa so i'm just going to select the united states of america as a bank location here amazon is currently not paying the each country uh, that have existence in the world but they are just paying the specific country as you can see here in the list so if are if you are uh, if you are some of this country, then you can use the, your local bank accounts. But I'm using the uh, United States bank account. This is pretty reliable for me. So as you can see here, I'm just uh, clicking up the United States here, and there's a few uh, box is popping up in my front. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill up this each box is step by step. So with uh, with you. So. I'm just going to uh, keep my notepad is aside so it's, it will be easy to copy and paste to my information here since this information I copied from my online bank account. So first thing they just ask it for the account holder name. So I'm just typing here my full name actually not type. I'm just copy paste here my full name here and they are just second thing is they're just uh, asking for the account number. So I'm just copy here my account number and paste it here to this particular field here so as you can see here this is the particular field i just uh, fill up my name my account number and the second thing third thing is that they are just asking for a bank name so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click my bank name here copy my bank name here and paste it my in this 
bank name field now you can use uh, this us dollar bank currency the but this is not uh, changeable because this is fixed to the us bank account because in this us bank account you are not going to uh, receiving any kind of currency because you are going to receive the us dollar into the us bank account this is pretty straightforward so the fifth thing is that they are just asking for account type so obviously my account is checking it's a not saving account as you can see my account is checking account and uh, they are just asking another time to confirm your account uh, to confirm that your account is not uh, wrong and they are just and they are not sending your money to someone else so you know that what i'm talking about so i'm just copy one again time in my account number and paste it to my account number here confirm account number here so this is pretty much it and also they are just asking another time to routing number so what is routing number routing number is come with your account number this is pretty sad for if you uh, check out your online bank account you can you see the uh, little digit that come with uh, the smaller than the account number this is uh, also called as routing number but do not put your account number into the routing number field uh, this is going to be so wrong and end up you are not receiving any money of your bank account so this is the it so i'm just going to copy my routing number here and i'm just pasting it here so that's it and just Rewind that everything is okay. So my ac my account name is okay. The account number is okay. Bank name is okay. Checking. Uh, confirm uh, account number is also okay, and the routing number is okay. So once everything is done, it's time to click up your submit button. And there's a one note is popping up. Let's read it. Please note that any update method will be effect only from the first of the next month uh this is something like that if something like i uh update my payment method this november and it will be if take effect into the december first so this is pretty amazing and it's since everything is okay i'm just going to click up my um my submit button here so let's see what happened here so i'm just clicking up my submit button and it will take some time probably and boom your payment method is successfully updated which is really amazing and you are monetizing international traffic now receiving payment to international bank account all right so this is something like is and my payment information is absolutely done here so as you can see here the big uh green payment option is successfully payment information is updated successfully and this green is taking me so much comfortable so that's it for is guys hopefully you like this video if you like subscribe my channel also give the thumbs up of the video and let me know in the comment that 